Hi everyone. The video presentation today is a collage of five laparoscopic cholecystectomies done in our unit by surgical trainees. The complexity grading of these operations were marked as easy to moderately difficult. The video will demonstrate the basic principles of doing a safe laparoscopic cholecystectomy. Familiarity with the anatomy of the hepatobiliary region is vital to doing a safe cholecystectomy procedure. Although the terms the callous triangle and the hepatocystic triangle are used interchangeably, the correct terminology to use is a hepatocystic triangle. That's because in the callous triangle, the cystic artery forms the cephalid boundary instead of the liver surface. This distinction is very important because it is the hepatocystic triangle that need to be demonstrated and cleared rather than the callous triangle. The port placement in laparoscopic cholecystectomy is standard with a camera port and three further ports. The patient is put in a reverse Trendelenburg position with the right tilt up. Step number one is to grasp the fundus of the gallbladder and push it to the right shoulder. Any fibrofatty connective tissue is cleared off the gallbladder before proceeding to step number two. Number two is grasping of the neck of the gallbladder and pushing it down to the right hip or inferior laterally. This opens up the hepatocystic triangle which is absolutely necessary to demonstrate the critical view of safety which we'll discuss in a minute. Step number three is a demonstration of the safety line. The safety line runs from the ruvius sulcus to the umbilical fissure at the bottom of segment number four. The ruvius sulcus is a 2.5 cm long sulcus present at the undersurface of the right lobe of liver. Any dissection, cephalid or above the safety line is deemed safe. The safety line, also called the R4U line, is described by Gupta et al. in a paper which is a must read for all surgeons wanting to do a laparoscopic cholecystectomy. I leave a link in the description below. To obtain a satisfactory critical view of safety, three criterion has to be fulfilled. Number one, the hepatocystic triangle has to be cleared of fat and fibrous tissue. Number two, the lowest part of the gallbladder is separated from the cystic plate. Number three, only two structures should be seen entering the gallbladder. These are the cystic artery and cystic duct. Step number four is the clipping and division of the cystic artery and cystic duct once the critical view of safety has been obtained adequately. In this particular patient, the neck of the gallbladder is pulled up rather than inferior laterally toward the right hip of the patient. This causes a problem with the alignment of the cystic duct to the common bile duct. As soon as the neck is grasped and pulled in the right direction, the critical view of safety is displayed adequately. The gallbladder was then removed routinely. In many cases, fibrofatty tissue is seen creeping up onto the body of the gallbladder. As long as the safety line can be shown, it's permissible to dissect in the posterior part of the hepatocystic triangle by pulling the neck of the gallbladder up. As long as the dissection is kept up on the body of the gallbladder, the posterior hepatocystic triangle can be opened as shown here. Try to avoid doing blind dissection 
in the hepatocystic triangle. Quite often, small branches from the cystic artery can bleed, which could be difficult to control and make the surgical field quite messy. One is often encountered with a situation where the wall of the gallbladder is fibrous and thick. The best part to grab the gallbladder is the fundus. However, if that is difficult, quite often sucking the gallbladder of its contents help in the grasping of the fundus of the gallbladder. Once again, the fibro fatty tissue is removed by pulling the gallbladder up as long as the line of safety is seen and dissection is done cephalid. A sucker is often helpful for dissection. In this particular patient, the cystic duct was not completely stripped off the fibro fatty content. We'll recommend that the cystic duct should be skeletonized before it's clipped and divided. As the hepatocystic triangle was not completely cleared of fibro fatty structures here, unnecessary use of clips was performed. The cystic artery was eventually located posterior to the fibro fatty tissue and was eventually clipped in a safe manner. Last but not least, be very aware of a very short cystic duct. This is in particular difficult to identify when the gallbladder is quite pendulous and bulky. As long as the principle of safety are followed, which is proper dissection of the hepatocystic triangle and the demonstration of safety line and keeping the dissection Above the safety line, no harm can be done to the vital structures. I hope you have enjoyed today's video presentation. Please leave your comments below and subscribe to our channel for future similar videos. Many thanks.